Hi everyone, this is video number three. And before I forget, substitute teacher, please make sure that around five minutes before class is done is to tell kids that they need to put away their keyboards, stack them nice and neatly, uh, put away the wires and everything. And I wanna show the kids and you what I expect for the wires. So if you have an extension cord like this, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the cord and put it in half like this. So you have the cord and then you put it in half again. So the cord is getting smaller. So if, if you can do it this way, this is fine. If not smaller, but once you have it like this, then you have a line and you can just do a little twisty to a, a little twist on it. And you don't have to do it too tightly. You can just do it like this. Some people don't tighten it up that much. And so they'll do it at around this point here and they'll tighten it up like this and it should work fine, just like that. Same for the smaller cord. I don't have that exact black cord, but once again, you put everything in half and then you just nice and gently wrap it little by little so that it just stays connected like this. You don't have to tighten it up because when you do that, then you'll injure the wire. But this is okay because then it'll stay organized, right? Right, so we want to be organized. All right, so the last time I left you off was we were doing this assignment here and you should have already done this assignment, piano sheet number one, and the first half. So now I want to introduce the second half of this. Now, before I start this, there's another worksheet that you're going to need to get, and that worksheet is called Introduction to Keyboards. There it is, right there. And that is important because this is the sheet that you're going to need whenever you have your assignments checked off either by the substitute teacher or some of my students that are advanced, double check to make sure that everyone is doing it right. And so I'm gonna be going through all of these exercises to make sure that you're doing them right, to show you how they go, in case you have some questions, right? So this is important to have. So if you can find this and pass this out, that'd be lovely. And when you're done with that first sheet, you don't check it off, the substitute or, the, or a student who knows what they're doing will be able to check that off for you, all right? So now we are doing the second exercise, which is on this first sheet, piano sheet number number one. By the way, in the file cabinet, you have this marked as piano sheet number one, introduction to piano keyboards. Piano sheet number two, it says merrily you roll along or the deep blue sea. Then you have piano sheet number three. So you have P1, P2, P3. Then you have piano sheet A1. A is an advanced piano piece, and it's called Beep Beep, okay? Uh, so you have A1, A2, A3. Then you have T's. The T's are the tests. So these are the ones where you'll be really tested on. Hopefully I'll be back by then, and you'll be tested on these. And then this is going to be something else that I'll cover, but you're not going to get to these until much, much later in the, uh, in the term. But for right now, we're going to do this one here first, the piano sheet number one, the second half. So now we have this part here, and now if you notice here, it tells you left hand, two, three, four. That middle means middle C. Don't worry about that right now. Oh, by the way, I can tell that you can see that my fingers, um, that I bite my nails. Don't worry about that. Do not look at my fingers. Anyway, here's my knuckles instead, my hairy knuckles. Anyway, so you go to the right hand, two, three, four, and I'll show you where that, how that works. So you have here the keyboard and so your right hand will be two three four two three four and your left hand will be two three four the opposite way two three four so you're still using these fingers like this two three four two three four don't hold your hands like this keep them open like that when you play all right so it's asking you to play here I'll fold this over it's asking you to play Starting with your left hand, your left hand fingers. Two, three, four. Do you notice that right here, there is a note that is not filled in. We call that a half note. And what the half note is, is you hold the note for two beats. So it'll be one, two. So you're gonna go two, three, four, then four, three, two, go on. Then two, three, four with the right hand. Then four, three, two. 
and there is your double bar which tells you to end the song. So I'll show you what it looks like when you play it. Starting with your left hand. Let me see what it says here. Left hand, two, three, four. Notice how the notes go down in this. So when they go down, you're going this way. When you go up, you go this way on the piano. So left hand, two, three, four. So you're gonna go two, three, four, four, three, two. Right hand, two, three, four, four, three, two. Pretty simple, isn't it? It should be. Now, if you got that, if you got that, then you should be able to go on to the next exercise while you're waiting to be checked off if you would like. You don't have to wait and sit there till you're checked off before you go to the next one. If you want to go to the next exercise, go to piano sheet number two. And that's how that works, okay? So that's what I want you to do. I want you to practice that. It's going to take a while to be able to do this. This video is going to be a short video because I want to make sure that you at least get started with it. And then what I'll do is on my next video, I'll show you how the next ones work because every sheet that you get is going to have a level of difficulty and you need to know what it is so that way you can have some direction. All right, take care and I'll see you on video number four next time.